After your concluded part modeling, you move to the assembly environment. In the assembly environment, you can create an assembly from those parts. You use the various tools of the assembly environment to make those parts work together the way you want. Commands in AutoCAD are pretty specific and require familiarity with the software in order to use well. Inventor, on the other hand, is a bit more intuitive. You switch environments depending upon which stage of work you're at, whether you're sketching, modeling, working with your assembly. The tabs near the top of our screen show us some of the different environments. 3D Model, Inspect, Tools, Manage, etc. Let's go back to 3D Model. When you're inside the assembly environment, here you've got tools that are related to working with assemblies. When you're done putting your model together, maybe you need to create a drawing. When you work in the drawing environment, you will find tools applicable to working with drawings. And of course, changes you make in your model, whether at the part or assembly level, are reflected in your drawing documents as well. Now let's say a few words about installing and running Inventor. Here's some of the system specs from Autodesk. To run Inventor 2014, you need Windows 7 or Windows 8. 32-bit works, but 64-bit is preferable. The processor's minimum requirements are Pentium 4, but you're much better off starting with something like an i7. SSE2, you'll see that in the second bullet point, that stands for Streaming Single Instruction Multiple Data Extension. This technology is common to all processors these days, so there's no need for any special search to accommodate this requirement. 